you guys won't believe how much Sony was actually paying developers not to put games on Game Pass. They they were paying a million dollars to stop to stop games from coming to Game Pass. Are you serious right now? Okay. So let's reverse it, vice versa. Let, let, let's do a little uh, a switcheroo right here. What if Xbox was paying a million dollars for them not to keep to keep Spider-Man off PlayStation? To keep Final Fantasy. They were they were they, they weren't just doing this with just the Game Pass games. Guess what? They were doing it with Final Fantasies, um, Resident Evils. They said a few Resident Evils now it wasn't coming to Xbox due to the same reason. But now that the cat's out the bag and Brazil is busting on everybody. I'm talking about they're they're snitching, they're ratting, they're they're just putting it all out there to really let you know how grimy, greedy, scheming, low down Sony really is. And once again. I'm not talking about PlayStation, the actual console, the brand. I'm talking about the, the company. I'm talking about Sony, the head people in charge, the boss. I only directed towards Sony. And this is not cool, guys. Like, how are you going to pay a million dollars? You're going to pay a million dollars to keep a game off a console? And you're, you're, you're dividing fans you're dividing the fan base pretty much we're gonna lock it down because we want to charge you that 70 dollars price tag up charge up front up fee you better break bread right now with sony because that's the only way they're that's the only thing that they believe in bro honestly they only believe in that 70 dollars price tag they paid a million to keep it off game pass to stand behind that 70 dollars price tag that they're that they're up charging you guys up front Plus, let's say about 75 because you're going to pay plus tax. You're not, it's not going to be 70 even unless you're probably doing digital. But if you're going to get, um, GameStop, Walmart, you're going to get that tax. So let's say $70 plus. They're charging a million dollars to keep it off Game Pass. One million. Now that is insane. That's crazy. That's unheard of. Um, I was I was sick when I heard that. I, I just was like, okay, I already knew there was grimy, there was greedy, backstabbing, backdooring. Um, they were backdooring Xbox forever in a day already. This this is the, the crazy thing, guys. The really really crazy reason this this have been going on a very very long time, and Xbox kind of just been sitting back kind of waiting to strike back but they they weren't going to strike back so i guess they always had it in the back of their pocket like okay if sony ever comes out and try to do, do something to stop this deal we got to be prepared because we already know we got 70 billion dollars on the, riding on the line for this activision deal and it's not the only acquisition that they're going to make they're going to buy more studios after this but the main focus is getting call of duty on game pass because game pass is so popular right now that's like the, the the Michael Jackson of our time right now. Very popular in his prime prime. So Game Pass is, is it right now. Nobody's talking about PlayStation Plus right now, and that's what's making them mad. Which is play, PlayStation Plus is a great service. I'm not knocking it or saying that it's not great. I'm just saying it don't have the same value. It don't have the same um what's the word that i'm looking for the backing they're not pushing it as hard as uh, as game pass um it needs so much more work done to keep up with game pass like they said it's gonna take another five seven eight years probably to even compete because they don't want to do day ones but it's still a great service because they do have those triple a bangers on there but it can have a little more value but how do you pay a million dollars? That's, <laughs> bro, a million? I mean, can you even wrap your mind around, like really think about it, deeply think about that for one second. Would you pay a million dollars to stop a game from coming to another service, another subscription service? That's like Netflix paying a million dollars to stop movies from coming to Disney Plus. That's what that would be like. If you look at it, since, you, since Sony ponies don't want to really look at it like that, think about if, if Netflix had a movie, they, they both have, have, have a, like, let's say Spider-Man movie was coming out. But we know Netflix owns the rights to Spider-Man. But let's say they paid to stop Spider-Man movie from coming to Disney+. Plus. 
Okay, that would be like, dang, yo, that's messed up, Netflix. Really? You know, Disney got all these billions of dollars. You know, they can really go to war with y'all like that. They can really take it there. They can really take it to these movie streets. But they don't really want to do it. You know, I mean, because once, you know, right is right. This is how I feel, guys. Right is right. Wrong is wrong. And if you don't think blocking rights are wrong for another company that you're competing with is wrong, something is wrong with you. Because that's like you're going to the store, right? And you're trying to and you're and you're ready to buy this food. But somebody says no, somebody it's the last milk jug and your baby needs some milk. And you get to the front and they say, Oh no, somebody already called then they already bought that milk. And you're like, There's no more milk in the whole city. What are you talking about? I'm right here at the cash register. I'm sorry, I can't give it to you. Somebody already ordered that. That's how would that make you feel? Like you're gonna be like, bro, what the hell? Like, <laughs> I already bought the milk, I'm already here to pay it. What are you doing? You know, we already made this deal. They even tried to get Starfield on PS5. They tried to block matter of fact, I think they almost tried to block that deal from me becoming an Xbox, but the deal was already done because they have Tokyo, what, Ghost Ghostwire Tokyo and um um Deathloop. They have those on on PlayStation and PC. PC is fine. For some reason, I don't know. They don't they don't really bother PC. <clears throat> they don't really put it in the same category. <clears throat> so as a PC boy, as a PC gamer, I really don't have that issue because I get the best of both worlds. I can play PlayStation Plus, Game Pass, emulators if I want. If I want to play PS1, I can go back and drop an emulator. PC is the best place to play to me. I'm not speaking for anybody else, but Back to what I was saying, man. A million? A million dollars? Wow. You, you're going to pay a million dollars, bro, to stop a game from coming to another console? Like, how low can you stoop? Like, it's like the lowest of the low, bro. Like, I would never, I would never imagine that's how much they were paying to keep a game from even coming. I don't know if it's timed exclusive marketing rights uh you know what i did hear that too in these gaming streets another thing i heard you know i said jay what you heard man <laughs> i'm always hearing something right so this is what i heard they're paying extra to pretty much put their intros and outros on every video as well on big marketing games like at call of duty so basically every advertisement before the game um basically airs or come out on commercial come out on youtube you will see sony playstation and at the end of it you will see sony playstation they're marketing deals too they're paying extra for that too so they were like wait a minute you you guys are doing that too so it's like they're doing too they're doing like so much backdooring so much backdooring scheming low down deals behind closed doors guys grimy shady deals that you guys don't even know about into now and this is what i have been stressing day one sony is not truthful they don't care about the gamers anymore it's all about that bag. It's all about money. Like I said before, the more competition, the more greed, the more money they have to shell out. So they feel like, okay, we're going to upcharge at extra 70. Okay, boom. They already did. That's wrong. That was wrong. I don't I don't know how some Sony opponents can defend that. I don't even think some Sony fans would agree with that because every time you want to go buy a new game, guess what? You got to drop that $70 again. That's not really cool for a person that's, you know, paycheck to paycheck. You know what I mean? That's like, damn, like add that up. Like if, you, if you're getting like, you want like three games, three, four games that month, man, that's not going to look good unless you go to GameStop. Then maybe you can get it cut in half or, or use game or whatever. But um, if you only got digital, that's what they're going to get you. So that's why I say I really don't care for digital consoles. I like this because if you want to buy a pre-owned game, if you have a PS5, you can go to GameStop, get that maybe 55, 50, 55, 60. You can get the, you know, the price kind of cut in half. And I think you have to get like a power up card still, something like that. But digital, I don't want to go digital way because of that reason there. You got to pay that solid price up front. But um, a million dollars is not cool. I don't think 
I really don't think a lot of you guys are gonna agree with them paying that much if you're righteous. If you feel like that's wrong, that's wrong, bro. Like, I wouldn't even agree if PC or Xbox was doing that to PlayStation or Nintendo. I would, I would, I promise you, I would drill Microsoft for that. I would, I would die hard drill them, and they, they, they would not hear the end of it. They would not hear the end of it. If they ever did a deal, if Microsoft, Xbox ever did, ever did Sony like that, they ever did Sony like, I was like, oh, yo, Microsoft, Xbox, that's not right. Like Game Pass and Xbox this generation, you don't think your competitor studies you? You don't think they go out their way to know your every move, but they don't know what goes on behind closed doors because that is confidential information. So if that leaks, that's on the company. You get what I'm saying? If your information gets out and I find out what Sony's doing, if I find out what Xbox is doing, that's the media fault. That's the the backstabbing ass employees or whoever whoever is 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 delivering all your information out there. That has nothing to do with the gamers. We are just the consumers. We just we just we're just buying it, you know. So it doesn't sit well with me. It doesn't sit well with me either way. And vice versa if sony is paying to keep games off game pass i think that's wrong if, if if xbox was paying to keep games off playstation plus playstation plus premium that's wrong nintendo was paying to keep games off xbox and playstation that is wrong i i i, I would not I, I do not stand by that right there strategy i um I only believe fighting fight fair is the best way to go because see at the end of the day you guys have seen this have been going on for generations but now that playstation finally broke their silence and opened their mouth that's why i said before this is not just about gaming this is about greed and money and staying at the top of their game and the only way to stay at the top of my game is if i kick if i kick you down if i kick you down and basically take from under you what you love so much is your dear game pass that's how i'm going to hurt you you're not going to outsell us by consoles we already know playstation 5 is selling like hotcakes but that subscription service is what that's that's the gold mine of xbox you know game pass is powerful 30 30 30 million 35 plus million plus 16 to 17 million consoles sold already that's a lot for for Xbox. 16 million consoles. You got 35, 30, 35 million subscribers, and their goal is to hit 100 million subscribers. Do you do you think for one minute do you think PlayStation is not watching that? Do you really think that? Do you think they study them? You don't think they sit back? You don't think these people are smart? They work every single day of their life, bro. They're always two steps ahead of you to stop you. Well, I guess I'm gonna leave it right there, man. But once again, man, a million bucks to stop Game Pass, bro. That is sickening. That is a sickness. That is a greed, grimy, shady, backdooring, backstabbing. They're not your friend. Sony is not your friend, guys. Do not trust them. They're scheming out here, man, to get your money. They're, they're, they're squeezing $70 out of hardworking people, taxpayers, dollars that they don't even need that extra tax, bro. That's not fair to me. I'm sorry. I don't agree with the $70 price tag. I don't agree with them paying a million dollars to stop games from coming to Game Pass. Y'all know it's not right. Real, real gamers, real casual gamers will know that's not right, bro. It's not. So there's no way you can justify that. I'm sorry. You just can't. And I'm going to leave it right there. So you guys already know what to do. Smash that like, that subscribe button, and click that notification bell so you guys can stay updated on all the latest and greatest news in these gaming streets. Peace.